I've had a few people ask to see a video of how I intend to move my posts and beams a couple of inches underneath the quad here in Mount Juliet. So there's my trusty steed. Got my come along hooked up to a chain. That's gonna pull a post inside. This is my foundation. There's another safety chain bolted into the foundation. Make it down my little ladder here. So here's the setup. That beam, I'm sorry, that post and this beam need to move this way about two inches. So I've done about four days worth of preparation on this. There's that chain that's hooked up to the Kia. There's the safety chain hooked to the foundation. They're both wrapped around that post, the bottom of which needs to come that way, two inches. And the post is what supports the whole second story. Well, multiple posts do. This is the only one where when the structural company was hooking everything up, everything slid that way. And they don't really feel like moving it back. So this one, this one, this one, this one, all my temporary post and their permanent posts are all leaning this way now. So when it's straight, we bring them all straight right up. So everything is pretty darn tight under here. Here's another one of their posts, my temporary post. And that I-beam is what holds this post up. That post is no longer resting on this beam. This, this beam is going to be strictly for the floor joists to rest on from now on. So anyway, one of the problems is when it shifted, the beam went this way. So it's about... It's about an inch, a little over an inch, right there. Um, tilted this way. So when I move everything that way, it's also going to correct that. The only loose thing in this whole process is this. This turnbuckle is holding the two posts together. This post and that post, and that needs to be loose so this post can move. This post here, which is not moving, also has a chain wrapped around it. And it's hooked up to another chain that's holding the foundation, anchored on the foundation, hooked to that chain, converted to a cable, hooked up to this. So that is going nowhere. That is going that way. And I'm doing this, of course, outside. <laughs> That's why I've got the come along hook to the truck outside. That's where I'll be pulling all this as it creaks and cracks. So that's my best laid plan. We'll see how it goes.